Hey guys, it's Journey Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this S Rocker 2.4 GHz wireless mini keyboard. So this is a small little keyboard that's designed for a variety of different uh, devices. In my experience, I mostly use it for my Android TV box downstairs, uh, but you can also use this with your Windows machine, your Mac, and Linux machine. Personally, I just test it on Windows and my Android device, so that's what I'll speak to. I haven't tested the other uh, operation system at all. So you have the keyboard itself, as you can see. A little receiver which go inside the back here. Let me show you. There's a space here for the receiver, and then there's a built-in lithium battery also right out that's rechargeable. You also get a micro USB charging cable as you can see, and then there is a small little booklet. Booklet has some instruction, but it's not really that much detail. So uh, first, I use this on my Android TV downstairs. Very simple. Plug this guy in the USB port, and your TV and my Android box just came up and it start working perfectly fine. So I have my uh, touchpad here as you can see there's some fingerprint that it does pick up. Uh, this touchpad is decent, it works pretty good, I actually use my thumb a lot of the time. The only problem I have when you touchpad sometimes is that if you accidentally hover over here, that's the scroll wheel, so if you're doing this, let's say you, I'm in Twitch TV or something, I'm moving around the cursor, if I accidentally hit this, it's actually scroll. So you know, you kind of have to dis distinguish the two areas, but yeah, there it is for you, you can reach it with both thumb. Other than that, you have some uh, functionality key here, you have the left and the right click. And you have the mute. This is like Internet Explorer thing. The home button here doesn't work for me. Uh, I don't know why it didn't work on Android, but uh, I didn't like that. And you also had the um, search button here, the play button, which will bring up your default media player. You also have here your normal multimedia key. This works well in XPMC and all those other apps that uh, do this in uh, Android. It works pretty well. In Windows, this also works fine, by the way. And over here, you have your directional key, which you can use to uh, navigate to your device. And at the bottom, you have this keyboard. You can see it's a standard Curry keyboard, it is somewhat small. So this is the key, give you an idea of the traveling distance. It has a nice little clicky feel to it. You click on it. And then you have your F key over here. And then you have F11 and F12 by holding that use function key here. And then you also have some uh, bring screen. There, right here you can change the sensitivity of the mouse pad by holding that use function and press the space bar key here. And uh, that's basically it. Yeah, so far it works pretty well on my Android tablet. I'm pretty happy with this. Just make it easy for you to, uh, you know, when you uh, YouTube or Twitch, you can just search for what you need. It come up really fast. Uh, previously, I used an L mount. This does not have L mount. Just the touchpad, but I found the touchpad is pretty sensitive and pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's not great for maybe Android gaming, but uh, for navigation and other purposes, it works quite well. Uh, you also have three LED indicator here. I forgot to point out earlier. Uh, I think this is the this is the battery one. When it's low, it'll blink. You have to also have here the wireless one. You also have this other one here, which I'm not sure what it's for. But the user menu doesn't really point out what those areas are, so I don't know. Plugging this into Windows, it will also detect as a standard driver, and it also works fine in Windows. I actually like the response in Windows a little bit better. I think that's just because of the OS. My Android box is, I think, a quad-core box with eight uh, core GPU, but still, with, uh, you know, from time to time it lags. But yeah, overall, it's a very nice, simple product to use. Um, Battery-wise, I charged it once when I got it, which is about three weeks ago, and I've been using it on and off, mostly downstairs. I did test it in the computer one or twice just to see how it works, but most of the time it's just downstairs. And I use it daily, every day. So up top here, you have the on-off switch. Uh, I just leave it on all the time, and if you don't use it after like 20, 30 seconds, it just goes to sleep, and it conserves energy pretty well. And over the past three weeks, I have not uh, used all the battery yet. It still works pretty well. By the way, I say micro USB cable. It's actually mini USB, and that's what this cable is. Uh, but yeah, you use that to charge it. So I hope you showed a little review, help you in your budget decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.